All right, Josh, you know what I'm going to ask you. Van der Fleer, Van der Flyer, what's the story? Van der Fleer, I'm told, is the correct pronunciation, so my grandparents tell me anyway. Uh, they're from Holland. My uh, granddad's from Amsterdam and my granny's from The Hague. Uh, 50s, 1950s, um, my granddad came up and set up a radiator factory. So Needed a bit of heat. Yeah, figured, figured we could do it something. <laughs> <laughs> he, so was, he wasn't wrong. <laughs> As luck would have it, Josh, we're with you on the day that you that you find out that you've been selected in the, in the initial uh, Six Nations squad. Yeah. It's now for you a journey from Academy into Leinster into that initial Six Nations squad. I mean, describe those emotions. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know what to think really. It's still very surreal. Like I only found out maybe 20, 20 minutes ago or so. Um, I was just really excited. I didn't really, although I kind of aimed for this this to come. Um, I, I don't know what to think really. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. I suppose being one of the younger lads in the squad, I'd be hoping to kind of get comfortable with the system, um, get to know the, the lads a lot better as well. And um, hopefully hopefully I can train with a bit of confidence and stuff and just see, see where that takes me. Talk to us a little bit, Josh, about uh, about your background, where you're from, where you grew up, and uh, obviously where the rugby came into it. Uh, well, I was born in born in Dublin, um, lived pretty much all my life in Wicklow, Wicklow town, and then yeah, my dad played with the rugby. My dad played uh, for Old Wesley and Wicklow Rugby Club, and then a bit of Leinster under 21s as well. And um, yeah, he just started coaching me then when I was five at under eights. So I wasn't allowed to play. I wasn't allowed to do anything. I was just allowed to train because I wasn't allowed to play. I was too young. Uh, so that's how it all started off. And then played, played in Wicklow till I was 12, and then moved to boarding school here in Wesley. I was very lucky. The year I had in school, there was um, maybe 13, 13 or so lads in my year playing rugby in the boarding house. So like we'd be every night before before we did our homework or after dinner or whatever, we'd be out throwing a ball around. So I think. Even though you wouldn't classify it maybe as training, but we were always kind of had a ball in our hand, and I suppose that probably helped a lot in my development. Um, oh, I had so many, so many good coaches. Um, remember in the latter years, anyway, Craig Petrie and uh, Ian Wallace, they were probably they were the two kind of head coaches um, for the senior team. So they were probably the biggest influence that I can remember. But then all the way through school, I had really good coaches. So I really couldn't have asked for for anything better. It makes me kind of miss it now, walking around and having a look around, seeing the buzz about. Josh, there's been quite a bit of controversy, I think it's fair to say, about the choice of a red scrum cap. It's a hat tip to your school days. Yeah, yeah, I started wearing one in school, I think, and matched the, matched the red jersey, red and blue jersey anyway, so I just, and then from then on, people kind of knew me as the lad with the red scrum cap, so I just decided never really to change it, so. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be stuck with it, but it, I'd say I probably will end up wearing it for the rest of my career. I'd say. Easy enough for the refs to spot you as well, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the thing. If I find I'm having trouble, I'll have no problem changing it. I'm not superstitious about it or anything. Yeah, I've always kind of wanted to play for Leinster. Went to a few games when I was younger. I was always a fan, so it was always like you'd see to be older lads in the school. You'd see playing representative Leinster. It was just something I always wanted to do. I had a couple of trials, fourth and fifth year. Didn't go anywhere with them, and then I got a trial in sixth year at the end of pretty much the end of my school days, and that kind of went well. So then I got called into the Leinster under 19s, which was it was really it was unbelievable. The Leinster Academy, Josh, a three-year cycle. Looking back on it now, what did you make of your three years in the academy? I thought it was unbelievable, really. The platform it gives you, having played now a good bit at, um, at senior level with Leinster, it, the platform it gives you is just unbelievable. You really feel ready, um, ready to play physically and mentally. You get pretty much everything covered from the, through the academy system, whether it's physical, the mental side of it, and uh, just the confidence getting to train with some of the senior lads, you just get a lot of confidence playing with them and then once you make that big step it's actually quite easy compared to having to jump straight in. Talk to me about that big step, you made your debut last season if memory serves me right. Yeah, I was, I was pretty nervous to be honest. Um, it helped a lot that I'd been training, I'd been training a good bit with the senior team all through that year so it was more, didn't know what to expect from, from the opposition more than um, 
often from my own teammates because I managed to train with them a good bit. So um, I was more just uns like unsure of what to expect and just really excited, a kind of mix of a lot of emotions really. How was it for you looking on Peter, a guy that you're, you're now living with that you know very well and you see him finally getting a European, actually a first start for Leinster, never mind Europe. Yeah, it was really cool. It was very, very cool, the two of us preparing to to start, which was the first time first time that had happened and then it helped as well. The lads were playing, Tom and Adam were playing in the Leinster A game and then um, Connell and Liam, my other housemates, were playing AIL, so it was a very, very busy week for the house. A lot of chicken fillets, a lot of sweet potato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of food went in, a lot of potatoes. In terms of actually living with uh, three other lads who were also in the Leinster environment, I presume that's a huge plus. Yeah, it is really good. I think we all get kind of good habits off each other, like um, like someone's going to bed early, then everyone's like, oh, I should probably go to bed early as well. <laughs> um, and then you keep each other on, on track with your eating and stuff. Like no, no one would be afraid to give out to someone for eating something bad. So you kind of keep everyone, um, keeps everyone else in shape, I suppose. And it's really, yeah, it's really good. Josh, Peter Dooley, what's his most annoying trait? Most annoying trait, he never moves off the couch. Never moves off the couch. <laughs> This is his his his, 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 couch by, his couch by the window is uh, that's his little spot. He doesn't doesn't move. Tom Daly, there's got to be plenty on Tom. I'd say shower. He never never moves out of the shower. He's it, like he's uh, he takes a long time to get ready in the mornings. Whether it's his hair or whatever, we don't know. But the bathroom stays locked for a while anyway. Adam, well he's. Never stop spending time with his girlfriend, really. I'd say that's, that's his most annoying that's trait. beautiful. Young and, love, love it. Um, and his eating, you have to mention his eating. <laughs> he's a very loud eater. I'd say, I heard the other lads have said this as well, but he's a very loud eater. What, what's your main takeaway of the Leinster Rugby Academy experience? I've just loved, loved every minute of it, minute of it really. Um, it's, been, it's been unbelievable from all, all aspects I've really developed. Um, as, a, as a player, I, can't even begin to start, I don't know where to start talking about how, where I've improved and stuff. And if you had a, one piece of advice for Josh van der Fleer three years ago, what would it be? Probably I remember I got quite stressed and nervous and stuff about uh, big training sessions, big games, and probably just enjoy it more and um, keep learning from the coaches, I suppose. But it's gone, gone pretty well, so I wouldn't tell them too much. <laughs>